Check out our new CNC models, including our larger Fabricator Pro and our complete Greenville version 2, each offering the capability to use lasers and or fourth axis, with sizes up to 8 feet by 17 feet. Custom sizes are available. We also offer four options for purchase from plans to fully assembled machines. As always, you can purchase parts and accessories for your CNC machine and retrofits if you're building your own machine. In this video, I'm going to show how to wire the limit switches to the Mach 3 USB controller. In this case, I'm using a rotary limit switch, but you can use any standard snap action limit switch that can function in a normally open configuration, which means it has to be connected in parallel and when the limit switch is engaged, it closes the circuit. If you look closely, you can see the letters NO and NC, normally open and normally closed. And when you engage the switch, you can see the internal workings with this particular switch, how the lever is connecting the terminals. When routing the cable, don't forget to route the cable through the limit switch housing. For this wiring, you should use a two conductor 22 or 24 gauge shielded cable. I'm using a three conductor cable since I didn't have any two conductor laying around with shielding. The shielding is highly recommended since these inputs are very susceptible to interference. The shielding and the ground wire, the black wire in this case, is all tied together. On the limit switch side it doesn't matter which terminal you connect the red wire, input wire, and the ground wire because it's just making a connection between the two. Fasten these two wires to the normally open side of the limit switch. To use the standard Mach 3 configuration with the Mach 3 USB controller. Test the function of the switch to make sure that the switch activates properly when a portion of the machine is pushed up against the switch and make sure the switch does not interfere with any other part of the machine. In this case, I need to angle the switch because you can see that I'm helping the switch turn when I'm moving a portion of the machine to hit the switch. And that is easily done with the Allen set screw on the side of the lever of the switch that will adjust the angle of the lever. For this configuration, I needed to angle the lever and I also needed to shorten the back end of that lever. I'm connecting the red wire of the switch to the IN1, the IN1, input 1 terminal on the Mach 3 USB controller. The black wire and any other wires and shielding in this cable I'm connecting to the ground terminal block but it's not going to be connecting to the digital ground, it's going to be connecting to the 24 volt ground. So I'm not going to connect this side of the terminal block to the other side that was used for the motion and the drivers. Now I'm going to take a wire from this side of the terminal block to the DCM, the DC common terminal of the Mach 3 USB controller. This is the ground terminal for the 24 volts. Now the 24 volt power supply needs to be connected to the Mach 3 USB controller card. I'm using a two conductor 18 gauge cable for this purpose. This size of a gauge is probably not necessary. I'm just using it because this is what I had on hand. The black wire of this cable is connected to the DCM, the DC common terminal, and the red wire is connected to the 24 V, 24 volts terminal on the Mach 3 USB controller. At the 24 volt power supply, connect the black wire to the V minus, which is the ground, and connect the red wire to the V plus, which is the 24 volt positive DC voltage. With the default configuration downloaded from the buildyourcnc.com website under the Mach 3 USB product page, testing the switch should engage the reset. You can connect as many switches as you wish in parallel to the input number one terminal of the Mach 3 USB controller. I'm connecting a second limit switch on the Y axis to demonstrate the connection that I'll be making to the input number one. Remember that this connection is being done in parallel for normally open switches. This connection cannot be done in series as that would require a normally closed circuit. After closing up the rotary limit switch case, I'm going to connect the black wire and the shielding to the ground terminal and I'll connect the red wire to the IN1 terminal. Test the function of this limit switch to determine the proper functionality using Mach 3. 
To test this, I am continually pressing the reset button in Mach 3 and engaging the limit switch. You can hear in the background very faintly me activating the limit switch. This concludes the demonstration of wiring the limit switches for the Mach 3 USB controller. Thank you for watching.